to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah. Get the hell out of here! There's nothing here! What's up? Do you hmm. need some help? Good health to you. Is there any work you can do? Hmm, that depends. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've got a bit of a problem. I'm listening. We've got a human captive we pulled out of the river. I've an idea what to do with him, but I need a little help. I have my own plans for him, but I need a bit of help. How did you do it? It's not every day a miller's helper catches an enemy of the crown. That's true. My hands will be more than happy to tell you how they caught him. I'll help you. I've got some unfinished business with the Cubans. I'm guessing you're from Scalitz, then? I am. Very well, then. I plan to question the bastard and find out where he hid all the plunder he's been taking. All right. I'll get it out of him. Do you speak Hungarian? No, I don't. Then you won't get anything out of him. If you want to help, you can. A little down the river is a mill. The men said there's a vagrant there who swears in Hungarian when he's playing dice. You could go there and find out if he knows any more than curses. All right, I can handle it. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. Yeah.
Ah, I heard you know how to speak Hungarian. But are you fluent? Ah, I speak it well enough. But why are you interested, brother? Where did you learn Hungarian? In a university in Vienna. I studied there diligently until all my coin was spent. So I'm travelling back to my home, Prague, to the mother of all cities, brother. I might have a job for you. A job? And I was hoping you were coming with an invitation to a drink, or a message from my mistress. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I can offer you a few groschen for your trouble. Ha! Nehil boni sine labore. What? Here in Bohemia they say, there's no bread not paid for with sweat. And yet they promise me easy work here. And nevertheless, so far I've been breaking my back. So first, tell me what this is all about. I need someone to question a cumin. I can see you're not tongue-tied and you know Hungarian, so it shouldn't be a problem for you. Lord almighty, a cumin? Ah, but what does it matter? My employers here want to send me back on the road come the end of the week. How much are you paying? How much would you like? Well, the question is, how much are you offering? Fine. It sounds like a fair deal. And where do you have this cumin of yours? Have you heard of the mill in Bougie? Of course. I've won at dice against the band that works there more than once. Good. Then we'll meet each other there. Excellent. I'll just take some things and be on my way. Yeah.
We can start the questioning. Wonderful. I was almost starting to get bored. <sighs> So, let's begin. Tell him he has one and only chance to save his neck from the gallows. <laughs> Tell him I know damn well he's got stolen valuables hidden somewhere around here. <laughs> What's he saying? Well, he seems to be resisting. Tell him if he carries on being stubborn, I'm going to lose my patience. Now, mind, hold on. I'm going to make it just a getty, but he may let the dad go there while I hold on. Aha. My guns them air tank. I'll tell you what you get, Mash. You'll forget. Azzal a nagyvárossal szemben a folyónál. A Tyrodondos? A nevét nem tudom. Egy nagyváros vár falakkal. És van ott két vár. Szemben a folyó túlpartján van egy dom. Ha a város felé nézel, van mellette egy út. Azon az úton van egy kereszteződés, egy kiégett fával. Viszonnan egy kis ösvény le a vízhez. És lent a víznél van egy kivált fatön. És a band van? Igen. So? Is he saying anything? Um, no, not really. He just keeps swearing. Tell him he's running out of time. I should have a cure here. Pensei, I don't know what to say now, but I need to get out of here. Well, now, he started to talk. He says he buried the coin somewhere in the forest, but he can't describe the place exactly. He says he can take it, though. Fine. That's good enough for me. Good health to you. I have something to ask about the interrogation. Tell me, bro. Whatever he said took a lot longer than your translation. Did you really tell me everything? Well, you know, they have a different manner of speaking in Hungary. Some things can't be translated so easily. There are a few hard nuts for us translators to crack there. <laughs> so you didn't translate everything? Not verbatim. But look, I don't know why you're making a fuss about it. It's simple. He's gonna take you there and the money's yours. It's just I'm sure I heard him say something about Rattan. Well, he must have misheard. He didn't mention that place. He speaks a strange dialect. That's the trouble. A fucking dialect. I've had it done for this. I'm taking the cumin to Rattan, and we'll see what he has to say when he's on the rack. They'll have a translator who knows what he's doing. And if I find out you've betrayed me, you'll be very sorry. Fine, fine. Just keep calm. I didn't tell you everything. You're right. So what did he say? I'm listening. He described the place where he says the money is hidden. In exchange for me promising that I talk to you into letting him guide you there. Where does he want to take me? I have no idea. But it's probably not anywhere you want to be. But where's the money then? Well. Across the river from Rate, there's a hill. And when you're standing on that hill, looking at the town, there's a road next to you. On that road, there's a crossroads by a burnt tree. From there, a small path leads to the water. Then, by the water, on the right, he says, there's a hollowed out stump. And that's where you'll find it. Well, now, it looks like we're through here. Get lost. I'm already on my way, and everything is fine now, is it not, brother? You better hope it's there, or I'm going to come looking for you. Don't, don't worry. I'm not so foolish as to lie to you twice, am I? I should hope not. Take care, man.
tell me what you're gonna do with that bloody you. It's up to you. I don't care. As long as that Hungarian back. Be with you. We went to interrogate that human. Is that so? Tell me about it. You were right. He's got coin hidden somewhere. Ha! <laughs> you see? That's the legendary Miller's instinct for you. That vagrant of yours is a piece of work. How's that? To trick us. He made a deal with the human. His plan was to talk me into letting that bastard lead me on a wild goose chase while he got the treasure. Is that so? That sly fox. But you didn't fall for it, so the plan doesn't change. Go with him. Get the money and bring it back here. But what do I get out of it? I'll let you have half. That's fair, isn't it? Aye, right. fair enough. And what to do with the cumin afterwards? Once you've got the coin, you can do what you like with that, heathen. All right. I'll get going then. Good. And don't even think of trying anything underhand. If I find out you've cheated me, you'll ruin the day. No worry, Miller. God be with you. Nice try, but I'm not stupid. Not me, but met you. But still, I don't intend to wander around the forest all day. Show me where it really is, and no trickery. Got that? Huh? God, for fuck's sake, get on with it. Don't you dare try and. Csába, hol az a szaros? Világos, miért is áska volna el a közelben, amit idióta kihamér? Az ott egész ismerősnek kéne. Hol a faszba is volt?
Again. I have what I wanted. Now we're going to Ratai, my friend. I feel quite... My respects to you. I'm here about the Cuman. Ah, so it was you who brought him. I suppose you've come for your reward. Exactly. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, I'll tell you that. That is the first Cuman anyone's ever brought in alive. Then again, those devils don't deserve any mercy. Anyway, here's the reward for your service. Thanks. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry, begging your pardon, shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me, and I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? 
Oh, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good for nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Can you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course, where else would they get it? Gallows Hill? It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other... Uh, carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are... overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. May the Lord watch over you. Uh, don't you, Star. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat, actually. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. We're feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Do you know anything about getting rid of wandering souls? The restless dead? I might know a bit about that. It depends who wants to know. I wouldn't want to be accused of heresy. Come now, Konyash. You helped me once before, so I'd like to ask you for something again. Fine. You're right, Henry. I won't lie to you. I'm interested in occult teachings and a bit of alchemy. It's far more than just old wives' tales. I truly believe it's a science. So what exactly do you need? To help a village woman from Ledechko. Her neighbor's ghost has been haunting her. He visits her every night. You don't say. Now this is interesting. Revenant spectral beings, cursed souls from beyond the grave? Yes, exactly. Her house is haunted. To put it vulgarly, my lad, to put it vulgarly. But there are spells that can banish restless souls back to the realm of the beyond. Now that's what I wanted to hear. And do you know the spells? Well, I'd like to learn at least one. But the only book I know that contains them has been classified amongst the Libri Prohibiti. I've no idea what that means. The spells written in a forbidden book. A book that's in Latin and kept under lock and key in the monastery. It's called Liber de Mortuis, Necronomiconos. Do you need to know any more? Do you want me to steal the book? If you want to get rid of that revenant, you have no other choice. When you bring me that book, we can cast the spell together, since you don't know Latin. Fine. I'll bring the book. You'll find it in the monastery library. But it won't be easy to get in. Truth be told, I don't know of anyone who is able to break in. And out. Without getting into big trouble. I'll try. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus Christ be praised. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Take care now. I could do with a bite to eat. Good day to you. What do you need? Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats. But it's us that has to suffer, boy. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzig took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again any time soon. Ah, it's a shame. Because I was going to ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought you might be able to help. I don't know. I'm not such a great hunter that I could feed all the refugees. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burghers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. If one of ours got caught in the woods, they'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you! You're in Sir Radzik's garrison, and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. Well, I got away with brawling with Laura Capon, so I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. You'll be saving us from starvation. Good luck to you. I'd like to ask about our former neighbors. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. The bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? What of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone, and no one wants to do the knacker's job. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job, that's not fit for a decent person? Only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. 
So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Thanks. I'll go. Take care now. Good health to you. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I ask sent me to you. No, oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Merchant Hagen isn't just anybody. Aye, I've heard of him, that he's a good Catholic. Really? Uh, well, yeah, sure he is. Truly. People still talk about the lovely service he arranged for his wife's funeral. So, you wouldn't mind being his housekeeper? Well, I don't know. What will Father Francis do? Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. God bless. Look out. <laughs> Állj, te kutya! Most megkapod!
on, get If you think you can walk off with that weapon, think again. Leave it right where it is and fuck off. Jo, jo. Neugraj ani te raďové takňoš. Damn it, I'm hungry. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah. I see. Well, have you got it? I have. There was a small fortune stashed away there. <laughs> well, well. So, give me my half and we can each go on our merry way. Here you are. 
Splendid! It's been a pleasure working with you. Take care. I am at your service, Sir Knight. Take care now. Father, when do you plan to return to St. James? I beg your pardon? Why do you ask, my boy? Your housekeeper, Agnes, is in Ratai and doesn't want to work for anyone else. She's waiting for your return. So she survived? Thank the Lord. I prayed for her and all who suffered, but I'm not going back. Tell her I appreciate her concern, but to look out for herself now. Take care now. Father, I need your help urgently. You? I recognize you. You're the Scarlet's blacksmith, son. Yes, that I am. I I'm sorry. What did you want? It may sound strange, but I need you to go back to St. James. The locals need their spiritual shepherd. No. No, certainly not, my boy. That's one place I shan't be going back to. Why? It is your parish, after all. A parish that's little but a ruin these days. And besides, God forgive me, but I'm afraid. All kinds of ruffians are on the rampage around Skelets. It isn't completely safe, but most of them are gone. As my father used to say, why take the risk? How did you manage to get out of Skelets? I didn't. I wasn't there during the raid. I was here at Sir Sal for confession. And why aren't you with our folks at Ratai? What if Sir Radzik has need of you? Look, 
here I'm an honored guest and well cared for. In Ratai, there's hardly room enough for the refugees already there. And what's more, the parish priest doesn't like me, which happens to be mutual. The last thing I want to be doing is haggling with him over where I can sleep or how many slices of bread I'm allowed to eat. He certainly isn't known for being generous. Don't you feel any shame? Think of all those Christians who faced death and never betrayed their faith. That's something else entirely. No, it's not. They weren't afraid to face death, and you're squirming at the thought of some slight danger. Haven't you seen how they ransacked the place? Does that seem slight to you? Well, not to me. The Cumans are gone, but the townsfolk won't come back. And why should they, when the man who ought to set an example, the one they look up to, is shitting himself? I am ashamed. More than you can imagine, but not quite enough to get myself killed for it. I'm a man of the cloth, not a man at arms. So I shall politely decline your offer. What if they increased your income? Would that convince you? My boy, my boy. I get tithes from the parishioners, and since my flock amounts to a flock of ravens these days, it won't come too much. I know. That's why I've arranged a small collection for you. So you'll have something to live on before the parishioners return. So that's what you're about. And how much have you put together? Well and good, then. Well and good. That's most satisfactory. And where will I live? My house in Skelets must surely be in ruins. You can live right there at St. James. I'm sure the locals will be grateful enough to give you a roof over your head. Well, it's true they've treated me kindly, and I do owe them. Very well. I will go back. Thank you. The people from St. James will never forget this. Take care now.
garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring, asparagus for taste, and pickles for ale. Father, when do you plan to return to St. James? I beg your pardon? Why do you ask, my boy? Your housekeeper, Agnes, is in Rattai and doesn't want to work for anyone else. She's waiting for your return. So she survived. Thank the Lord. I prayed for her and all who suffered, but I'm not going back. Tell her I appreciate her concern, but to look out for herself now. Good luck to you. God watch over you, good knight, especially in these dark times. Can I do something for you? I am at your service, Sir Knight. Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Well, depends what you're willing to do. There was one troublemaker around here not long ago. We dealt with him. He was selling some relics he claimed were miraculous. It was nothing but worthless trinkets. The villagers sent the bloody swindler packing so fast you couldn't see his heels for dust. All the way to Ledechko, I believe. I reckon he won't last long there either. And that's not all. You're from Scalitz, ain't you? You must know Fritz and Matthew, then. Them fellows need to learn some manners. They've been making mischief and folk are getting fed up with them. And it occurs to me... Of course, it's your own Scalitz folk need the most help. There's some of them at the monastery. I talked to Johanka a few times. And she's working her fingers to the bone taking care of the injured ones there. I'm sure she'd welcome some good Samaritan who'd lighten her load. That's all I can think of. Take care now. Yeah! I'm glad to see you. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bollocks! Bloody Joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Ratai that I got back in my right mind. 
You're not doing too well either, are you? Well, I'm just getting by the best I can. Nothing to get excited about. At least you had something to eat. Bah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. Well, you two and work never got along. But don't tell me that they're not in need of carpenters. They're reconstructing the monastery. They don't want us there. And there's nothing else around here. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. I'll find you something. You can rely on me. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt. Don't you worry. What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunkers in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life oh, to I Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines, so wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. Bye. Jesus, what have you been up to? Good luck then.